You know, the Republicans always make the claim, you know, rising tide lifts all boats, trickle-down economics. Don't worry, it appears that we're giving gigantic tax cuts to the rich, but they'll eventually get to your ass. Don't worry, don't worry. Uh, all right, so that's, that's what you say. Uh, well, we, we have numbers. So let's see if those numbers bear that out and see how we've been doing. Well, let's go to the Institute for Policy Studies graph on the distribution of U.S. wealth in 2007. This is the latest figures we have. Well, it appears that the bottom 50% didn't get trickled on very much. Uh, they have only 2.5% of the entire wealth of the U.S. That's half the country only has 2.5%. Uh, the 50th to 90th percentile only has 26%. 90th to 99th percentile has 37.7%, and just the top 1% has 33.8%. So you get that? The top 1% of the country has more of our wealth than the bottom 90%. Okay, 90% of all of us combined does not equal the top 1% as far as wealth is concerned. Does it look like it trickled down to you? Well, if you're not sure how these numbers are relative to other years, that's a great question. You should be. Say, hey, maybe it's always been that way, right? No, this is the worst percentage for the middle class and the poor since the uh, 1920s, the biggest disparity in income. So, you remember what happened in the late 1920s? Oh, right, a stock market crash. Funny how that happens. This doesn't help anybody, and ultimately it doesn't even help the rich, because you create such an imbalance that the system crashes, and then you, the tide does not rise, it goes down. We didn't do this for the 50 years that America was great. And, you know, it, we went and we had very high marginal tax rates. I'm not sure they should even be that high. But, and we had very high estate tax rates. But the idea was take that money and provide an opportunity for the middle class and grow the infrastructure. We don't do that anymore. So now another graph. This is the share of capital income earned by the top 1% versus the bottom 80%. See the top 1% at the top, and that is going right on up. And you know, during the Bush years, that top 1% loved what was happening, and they still love what's happening in the Obama years, okay, based on other numbers that we've seen. Now, these are for the Bush years, okay, and, and earlier, right? Now, how are we doing with the bottom 80%? Well, their share is going down, and that gap grows and grows and grows, and that's why part of the reason why we have the collapses that we do. We had one in 08, and my guess is if this keeps going, we're going to have another one fairly soon. Finally, uh, let's go to the third graph. Uh, the past two, de uh, two decades, how did everyone do? Again, did we have the rising tide? Well, as you see there, uh, the top 1% of earners, again, doing very well. CEO doing well. S&P 500 doing really well. Um, all these uh, things are going great. Oh, wait. Except for that last one there, the federal minimum wage is at a negative. That's fascinating. And uh, as your production goes up, your pr productivity and what you produce is going up, well, your wages are going down. So does it look like all of our boats got lifted? Does it look like it trickled down to us? No. Graph after graph shows you that the disparity has grown and grown and grown, and the rich have gotten richer, and the middle class is just barely struggling uh, to remain as middle class rather than the poor, let alone what's happening to the poor. And now in the midst of all this, what do we have? We have Treasury Secretary Tim Geithner today arguing, as he does almost every day, no, 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 don't regulate the banks, don't regulate their derivatives trading, let them get richer and richer. Goldman Sachs recorded, and a, most, a lot of the major banks recorded record profits last year as our economy was crashing, our unemployment rate is up to 10%. We've lost 8 million jobs. We're getting crushed. But our Treasury Secretary and our President assures us, hey, no, 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 don't worry. Those banks will eventually take care of you. No. The numbers, the facts, those graphs show you they don't take care of you. They take care of themselves. It's time that we demanded a hell of a lot better from our government. We've lost track of what's built this country, and that's the middle class, not the bankers.